Alrighty then, yo guys, I'm from Sandy 2 here, and welcome to the third and final part of the Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue Review. Still a mouthful. Anyway, today we're going to be covering the last entry in the collection, Kingdom Hearts Keep Back Cover. Since this is a cinematic movie and not a full-fledged game, I won't have any categories for this review, but instead, a summary of the plot, my overall thoughts, and finally answer the big question, do I believe the game is worth the $60 you have to put into it? Forgive me if the video isn't too long, but it's not something I can personally help. Well, let's not waste any more time, let's get right into it. Kingdom Hearts Key Back Cover is the cinematic entry in Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8, as well as the second <coughs> quote unquote newest entry in the collection. Kingdom Hearts Key Back Cover, as the name may suggest, covers the events from Kingdom Hearts Key. Er, I mean, Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Oh my god. I mean, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Anyway, the events of Kingdom Hearts Key back cover take place about 90 to 100 years before the events of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. The movie doesn't follow the path of one set character, but the point of view of many different ones, such as the foretellers, a character named Lushu, and the elusive Master of Masters. This part is important as many people seem to believe that Kingdom Hearts Key back cover was supposed to answer many questions from the browser game after it had ended, but that was not its intention. The browser game was through the player's point of view for everything that happens in Key, while back cover shows the foreteller's intentions and why they act the way they do. Anywho, as I was saying before, the story follows the different viewpoints of the foretellers and shows a lot of each of their personalities. This also includes Lushu and the Master of Masters. Each foreteller is given a role that they believe they must fulfill no matter what, without fail, while governing a group of Keyblade wielders. These are called unions. Also, a particular rule that was set in place was that there can never be an alliance between two unions. As the movie progresses, there are many conflicts of interest between the unions and union leaders, eventually leading to distrust and chaos. Now since I do want to avoid spoilers, I will leave it at this toward the story. Many people wonder if watching back cover will answer any major questions that the viewer may have from the browser game. I do believe it will answer and or shed some light on some things a person may be wondering about, but again, the movie's purpose is not to answer major questions that were left from the browser game, so if you're going in with huge expectations, turn them down a bit. If you go in expecting too much, and this goes for any form of entertainment, you are prone to be a little disappointed. But if you go in knowing what it's supposed to be about, I promise you you will enjoy this movie for what it is. Even more so if you know about the story of Key and follow Kingdom Hearts. I personally got what I wanted from the movie and then some, so I was very satisfied with it. Now if you don't know anything regarding Key before watching this movie, I definitely recommend you look up all the important story cutscenes for Key, which were provided by the lovely people over at KH Insider, link in the description, to really get a start for the Key storyline, then watch back cover. As I had just stated, I believe Kingdom Hearts Key back cover was a nice little addition to the overall collection of Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8. I fully enjoyed the movie and was not let down in the slightest. The beautiful Unreal Engine 4 that was used for back cover really shined through. The voice acting for every single character involved in the movie was top notch amazing. I really enjoyed it and well, I mean, what can I say? I don't really have any problems with the movie. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, if I had to personally choose one thing that I would change about Kingdom Hearts Key back cover, it's the fact that not all of Key was in the movie. I believe it would have been better to include all of the events from Key so that the viewer could get the full experience, but at the same time I do understand why they didn't do that, it was probably because they want people to play the mobile games. Remember though, if you don't have the time to play the games to get the story cutscenes like myself, check the description below for a playlist that leads you to all of the story cutscenes of Key in order for your convenience. Shout out to KH Insider. Now the big question everyone has been waiting for, the question of the century, is Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue worth the price of $60? What, with a remaster of a game that we've already gotten, a short 3 hour demo that shows off some KH3 elements in a movie? Well, I don't think it's the case of, is it worth $60, but a case of, do I really need this experience? In my case, I think it's absolutely worth $60 because I'm a hardcore fan of Kingdom Hearts and I really want to see the rest of the story, as well as the taste of the KH3 combat, which I'm assuming most of you who are watching this video are hardcore fans and want the same thing that I did. Another way I would put it is that, would I buy it for that much being the fan that I am? Yes. Is what I'm getting really worth $60 in general? It could be a little cheaper, but you have to keep in mind two of these titles are new pieces to the story, with one being a whole new experience and a taste of what is to come in Kingdom Hearts 3. 
I have said before that if you aren't really a fan of Kingdom Hearts and are trying to pick up a copy of 2.8, if you are wondering if it's worth 60 now, I recommend you get Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 first to get the rest of the story. Since 2.8 as a whole is not for the new coming players, then come back and ask yourself, should I spend $60 on this collection? The answer may surprise you. Anywho, that is enough out of me. Finally, we are completely finished with the Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue review. I really enjoy Kingdom Hearts 2.8 as a whole, and I see myself going back to play it time and time again. It is definitely a 100% go pick it up if you haven't already, assuming you have played the other games first. If you guys enjoyed the review, a like would be greatly appreciated, subscribe if you are new to the channel, or you want more Kingdom Hearts content, and I will see you guys in the next video. It's been a little more for 72. Peace out, guys.